say how when you think back on. <laughs> Did you, bet, did you bet $1.8 million dollars on the Clippers the other day? No. Thank you. But I ain't making these lies, these rumors. Because somebody, somebody texted me that. Some dude like, yeah, I'm like, what are you that talking about? That was his pal. Who's that? Dan. Oh, was it Dan? Who was Dan? Dan Raphael? Is that what it was? Dan said that, yeah. That one on Twitter. Yeah, it was on Twitter. It was some Twitter. These beats is no. Not true. Huh. Did I just think about it? Back on my life and just think about, you know, basically everything. Hey, get Kleenex over there, five three, please. I just think back on my life and, and think about, you know, everything that I've done and everything that I've accomplished. And, you know, I just say I'm happy. Even like, like a lot of people don't really understand me, but Richard Schaefer do. You know, when I first, when we first got together. He like, oh, this kid is just talking this. This kid is just talking this trash, and, and like this kid is just talking trash, and he's arrogant, he's cocky, and he's this, he's that. But he didn't really understand. Like I, I'm like, it's a business, man. I got, I got to sell this. Cause we don't got nobody. He's just gonna be. If I talk nice and he talk like this, this is boring. We just, just, just so you know. Well, I'll be on 24/7. It's boring. But then y'all got us betting money, shooting jumpers, and. We drive in the race cars and we put them out there. That's what the people want to see. You must watch TV. But so then me and him had a chance to fly to uh, London together. And he's sitting next to me. I'm sitting there. I mean, I'm sitting. He's sitting right there. So we got to talking. And I'm like, you know what? And he's like, a flood. You know, I understand. Y'all said, well, I understand you too. So that's it. That's the history. Breaking my, records. My <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's even like, um, like everybody, you know, you hear different rumors about uh, me and Leonard, you know, it's more like, no matter what he has, what what differences we have, you know, husband and wife have differences, boyfriend and girlfriend, brothers, no matter what differences we have, he's with me to the end. The reason why is, you're with me to the end when you, you're loyal, when you, you believe in it, you believe in something from the beginning. No matter what, he believed in it from the beginning, like me. He believed in it when, when I, when I sit, when I go to, the, I, 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 get dressed, I go to the Mike Tyson. When, when I go to the boxing gym, I see Mike Tyson. I see his, his nice toys. You know, I had money. I, I had six figures. I was only a teenager, six figures. So, I'm like, um, I go to the Golden Glove boxing gym. I see Mike Tyson. I'm like, man, I'm gonna work hard today in the gym. I see it, I, I just admire it. I never was like, I was never jealous of, I was never jealous, I just admire it. I'm like, dang, that's fly. Like, look at that car. Yeah, I don't know if it was a Rolls Royce or a Bentley at that particular time, but you hear me like, oh, he got the Bentley. But then when the ice, as soon as the ice and Rolex, Rolex came up, some of them had them, I said, I got to get one of those. I got one instantly. <laughs> Where'd you think it takes some show? Did you see it? I didn't get a chance to see it. You know, I was training. You know, uh, my training, my training, my training basically go go from like three, um, three in the afternoon to three at night. Tell I me mean three three in the, three in the afternoon to three in the morning. My training goes like that for every day every day. You know, I go to the boxing gym from three to eight. Then I may do a um, from eight to nine. I go go for my run. Then I go eat after that. Then I go to the uh, the gym to sit in the hot tub. Then I'm playing basketball. Then I gotta go do another workout. Then I gotta eat again. Then I gotta. What's hoop have to do with getting ready for a fight? Huh? Which hoop have to do for getting ready for a fight? You know, you're talking about. I, you know, I just live normal. But I'm saying I live normal life. I, well, I want to live normal life. Even when you were in camp, you were living normal. I'm, when I say normal, I, I just far as I went, normal life is just like I, I want to go to the the mall by myself. I want to, but I know it's gonna. I can't. You know, those are things that I do want to do. You know, I I do want to take a walk by myself. But if I take a walk by myself, somebody, like, hold up. Then it's doing something. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I do want to do. You know, when, you, when I got, now I'm at the point to where you, I'm more like, yeah. You know, you're like, you want the fame in the beginning. You're like, yeah, I want the fame. You know, but once you get to a certain level, he's like, you know, I just want, I want the money. <laughs> you know, you just want the money. In your travels around the world, have you ever come to a place where they just didn't know who you were and you appreciated it just because they were completely oblivious to boxing and who you are? No. No. 
Yeah, they knew who I was. When I go anywhere, they know who I am. I mean, well, no, no, of course not when I was younger. When I'm older, when I go somewhere, they yeah. No, when I go to Dubai, because du in Dubai, most of the people that work in their, in their mall are Filipinos. People don't know that. Hmm? I was in that mall. So when you when you when you when you when you go to the mall in Dubai, crap, unbelievable. You see the you you see the people, they stop and like, but they, they could have been they could have been like, you know, because why is he walking side by side with a lady? Because in Dubai, the ladies have to walk behind the men. And you got some ladies that cover just their hair, some cover up right here, you got some that look like a ninja. Cover everything. Can't see nothing but the eyes. Can't see the hands. And, and I can. I can't remember, but I don't think you can hold your lady hand. I'm not really not sure. <clears throat> and you know, we was in Dubai. We was uh, with Kip. Right. Uh, he went with we riding camels. You know, playing ping pong on the on on the beach. So you know, we you know everything was you know everything was cool. And I was hanging out with Preston. I seen my man. And they love him over there. I don't know what he tell him. He stay. He hop out. He whispering the police here. Okay, let him by. <laughs> but they fly. They got they. They fly because I went to the club over there. So me and Preston, I seen my man went to the club. So we go in the club. We in Dubai. We go to the club. They like the guy like um. Oh man, Mayweather. He said, Oh, oh man, I got everything you got. I live just like you. I see you on the computer. I know everything you do. He said, I got all the same cars you got. Look. He said, when you come over here, you don't need nothing. Just call me. I got the mansion and everything. Can't want to do by it. Yeah. And so, when I, when I went to go when we went to go ride the camels, I was kind of nervous because we, we, we went out to, in the middle of nowhere with just the sand, but the sand is real soft. We go out in the middle of nowhere, then you see the guy with the, you like, the guy that look like Bin Laden, you like, oh man, ain't nobody around? I'm like, oh man. So I'm like, so I'm like, so I'm like, oh, uh, I know exactly how to handle this. Yo, get these men with the tip. Get them with the tip. <laughs> Did you go that ski, you know, in the, in the mall, they got the ski. skiing thing? Uh, we didn't go by the, we, what we, so we and then they got the uh, the I mean it was that was that was a good trip, you know. I done been to Disney almost everywhere. So um That was relatively recent years, long after. Yeah, yeah, but scene. but the right. most peaceful okay. trip is when I go to Cabo. Cabo. When we go to Cabo, that's Cabo is peaceful. We all like it because we just lay back and just look at the water, look at the everything flows up, and just chill the whole day. <laughs> then at night we go to the we go to Squid Row, the club. And that's where all the Americans be. The Americans be be there and they be partying and you know. Some of my boys from my crew get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> they be always wanna tell you can't bring you can't bring nobody back to the room. What are you talking about? We just spent 30, 40,000 on the room. What you mean we can't bring nobody back to the room? Fall back, let us handle it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's cool. You know, like the fighting part, though, far as the fighting part, you know, I don't really, I don't really worry about that. I don't really worry about, you know, what a fighter do good. I don't really worry about what a fighter do bad. I know what I can do. At the end of the day, no matter what you guys ask me, hey, how you doing, Mr. Mosley? How you doing? At the, at, at, at the end of the day, it's more like no matter what a fighter, they were like Floyd, but he does this good. I'm telling y'all from a fighter point of view. When they were like, well, he does this good, and what do you think about this? I'm never going to, you, you know, you're never going to tell your secrets. I'm never going to tell you what he's, his weakness. I'm never going to tell you, I, every fight that's in, in boxing, except, for, I mean, that, that, that I'm a face, or that I face, I know they got a weakness. I'm not gonna sit right here and tell y'all. I'm not gonna tell nobody. So you and, and you gonna ask the question how you wanna answer. It. Just like go look at the dice and I'll ask the question how you wanna answer. It. What's going to game? Good question.
What uh, what value has Nate presented? When you first brought him back on board, it was kind of like you wanted to bring him. I need him. him. Get him I need him. What value has he created for you? Over he see a lot of things. He see he see things. When I'm in a fight, he say certain things. He see certain things. And he tell me certain things, and I, and I hear him saying it. When he, and when he tell me it, it works. He know he, he knows the boxing game. Nate Jones is gonna end up being one of the best trainers. I just tell him like this. I always open his mind and tell him, don't be biased. Just don't always think that yo you got good fighters because he got little up and coming fight amateur fighters. I'm like, it's good fighters and it's good trainers everywhere. I feel I tell Roger the same thing like I tell my father. It's good trainers and it's good fighters everywhere. Just cause they not just cause they, they're not you doesn't mean they're like just because Cotto was not Floyd Mayweather doesn't mean that Miguel Cotto is not a good fighter. Because he got here doing something right. But I always say I don't worry about the trainer because the trainer cannot fight for the fighter. And you know, um, I sit down with Gamboa, so I know about his trainer because his, his trainer is, hey, I sit down with Gamboa and Gamboa tell me about the Cuban trainer. You know, Gamboa beat all his fighters already. So, I mean, like, when you guys ask me, well, what do, we, you know, they don't want really to say, well, what do Miguel Cotto do good? Y'all can tell me what he do good better than, better than what I can tell y'all. You know, once I get in there with him, they're not going to say, well, he do this good and he does that bad. As of right now, I don't know what he do good. Because what, what may work on another fighter is not going to work on me. Like, he may face Margarito. And Margarito, gonna, you know, his foot movement is not like mine. So he's able to spin him and pivot him. But with, with me, when he pivot, I'm able to pivot and move and quick and agile. You know, and it's more like, I feel like, another guy hurt him, another guy hurt him, and there's a difference. You, you, you go look at the Ortiz, Ortiz got dropped by a fighter, he hopped right back up. You know, you like, he may get hit by a fighter, and he hopped right back up, right? And he knocked the guy down, right? They say, Ortiz, Floyd, how do you feel? Ortiz knocked down every, he knocked down everybody that he faced. Well, I'm not everybody else that he's faced. I'm a little different. You know what I'm saying? I put, like I said before, I put people on their back and their face. That's not where I'm going to. And so, like I said before, he's young. He's young, but my body has took no abuse, so my body is still young. So when he's able to move and, and pivot, so like when when he when he get knocked down by when he get knocked down by Berto, he hop right back up. Same thing with the uh, the one guy he he had lost to. Madonna, they was beating, knocking each other down back and forth. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, I keep my composure. You know, I keep my composure. I know how to wear a guy down. In a, in a fourth down, in the fourth round, I start throwing combinations because I seen the guy was wearing down. And they said, well, Mayweather is not, if Mayweather don't throw a whole bunch of combinations, I don't need to. I don't have to. I'm accurate. I know what I'm shooting. I know what target I'm shooting at. Why waste un unnecessary energy? If you're my target and I know you're the target, when I when I got you, right where I need you, that's what I'm gonna shoot. If I had to if I had to go to war and fight hard, he's he's not gonna be able to outfight me in a war. Kodo is not gonna be able to outfight me. Because you look, he bruised, he he cuts, he swells, his eyes close, he, he's a bleeder. I'm not. I'm not a bleeder. So if you, like I said before, if you cut, if you cut before, you will cut again. But you're not in that kind of fight. How do you know? You know, like, how do you know what you're brawling? You've never had a <laughs> because I know, I, I know, yeah. because I've, I've been, I've, I've been, it, it, I've been tested. You go back and look at your thing. I've been tested. If I got to fight the inside, I will. I've been tested. But I mean, I, I was saying like, you know, a fight like Morales and Barrera where they were just throwing like crazy. You haven't had a fight a fight like that, have you? No, but I'm saying, that's why I'm, I'm, that's why Barrera and Morales, they get career was short. And my career was longer than I lasted longer. Right, that's what I'm saying. So I, I guess I'm asking, why are you so confident you could fight that way if you had to? Because I, no, no, because I haven't took no abuse. So my body is still my body is still prepared to do that if I have to do that. I haven't took no abuse to do that. You, you if basically what I'm saying is this. If you got a fighter, 
that, okay, myself, now you, 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 if I had to go to war, I can go to, I can go toe to toe and go to, to war if that's what I had to do. Right. But I don't have to do that. I think it's so remarkable. The remarkable thing about my career, the coolest thing about me is I can say, listen, I done 16 years, I ain't take no punishment. And they can say, oh, Floyd, when you duck and dodge, this guy duck and dodge, say what you want to, my man. I made a lot of money, now I ain't take no punishment. That's the cool thing about my career. Now that's being cool. Now that's what we teach fighters. Now that's the cool thing about the sport. Ain't nothing cool about saying, you know what? And we want to say, you know what? You know, I had a career. It lasted eight years. I was in a war. Oh, what time is it? I can't even see my watch. <laughs> hey, help me get my cane, you know. I, ain't nothing cool about that. The cool thing is about this, I can still run around with the young, with my young children. I can have fun. I can still go in the park. I can play basketball. I can have fun. That's the cool thing about my career. Just like I tell them about the Pacquiao situation. If my career defined off one fight, then why did I fight 42 fights? I could just came, I could just waited and said, "Train, I'm only training for one fight." And I win one fight, then I said, "You know what? That's all I needed to win. I'm the best." So what? So you go back and look. So when Eric Morales rated, if he just got beat by Zaire Rahim, a guy that ain't never won the title, and then. And then, well, you know, but you know, they say a reason. They say the guy a reason. <coughs> Frank Roach and all those guys is bumping heads, right? Right. Yeah. Eventually, they come out. Eventually, you know, the truth is gonna come out now. I told you. And yeah. Everybody got about, about to point the finger. No, he done this and he done that and he was taking this. No, I, I didn't tell him to do it. You told him to do it. I'm saying it then. Guess what everybody gonna say? Floyd said it first. And and I know one thing about you. One thing about you guys, I know you, see, the thing is this, it's the thing that you use, the thing that you use, the thing that I use, what I beat these fighters with, just basic, com just common sense, just basic common sense. Now, what's going again? Atlanta up two, Atlanta up two, 36, 34.